Now, for a long time, you have shared the master of oil, Dennis Michael Sabuadi. Now, in this, if we feed oil, some day feed, some day feed by Dennis Michael Sabuadi, we see one guy. We can follow Bishu for four days, but we see one guy. 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 Now, Mr. Dennis Michael Sabuadi, could you join us? You see, there is always a trickish way. I will be some questions, especially the host of many, many political shows. We're gonna be in. They will ask you a question. It is quite tricky. But the truth is, they ask you this question. Then, brother, yeah, you will be able to give out an answer depending on how intelligent and how you, 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 you critically think about set some of these issues. Now, on the side, you will be able to give out Then, as Michael Sabadi will be sent one of these questions. Sir. Answer to me, the man. We break the whole of the internet. We're from Yafa. We're from Yakoska. Share video. But the lead conversation for Donald Trump was on immigration was on sexuality, abortion issues. He was clear. He told the people that vote for me, if you vote for this lady, she's going to let, let all these people come into this country. They're going to rape you. They're going to steal from you. And if you listened and actually followed the American the dogs, election, eat the cats. exactly, it was quite clear that <laughs> a bigger percentage of the reasons why Donald Trump is coming back to power is because of his immigration issues, because of his foreign policy. No, the bigger because percentage. Because of his foreign policy. The bigger percentage by facts is because of economy, 66%. I'm listing three or four things, so let me finish. Mm. Because of his immigration. Immigration is second. Because of his foreign policies. Ukraine, the Gaza situation. He says he will stop the war in Ukraine Absolutely. before he is sworn into Absolutely. office. Absolutely. Now, now, when you come to the economic issues, he listed line by line things that he did better than Kamala. And that is, for me, is what if you really want to use Donald Trump as a Trump card, you do in Ghana. You see, the teachers you left at home and did not recruit them, they are there, they will vote against you. The children that you, you denied the opportunity to go to school because their families were poor, some said, these children will vote against you. These are economic issues. You understand? The, 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 the nurses and teachers were asking for better conditions of service that you told them that you were dead goat and you're not afraid of their strikes. Today, they have received three-fold increase in their salaries. They will vote against you. You see, the industries, the factories, multimedia here, people lost their jobs here because of doing so. These people have not forgotten. Then you should not be campaigning. No, I, I, we will campaign. You make it look so No, we will so campaign. No, it's not simple. We will campaign because we understand the human psychology. And we understand that somebody can even be hungry and you can let the person feel that he's, he's, he's full. <laughs> and so when people are full or they are hungry, draw their attention. We are not naive. Okay. We are not hey. ignorant of the facts and of the issues. Hey. <laughs> so forget you know, the question was very tricky because along the line, the nigga say, you know, in one day, the host may be kind of saying you know, all of these things that they don't need to campaign. Not that you may want some or a very simple. They don't need to campaign. Ne answering there, you know that we know the human psychology. All the same you put a comment on them. I say all the same you put a them. And so, any is for mama, you pan wide there, you pan wame. You pan wame you. Obotos wam wide there, a comment on them. When you understand the human psychology, or bow me to me at the name, a campaign on that trajectory, we, you don't need to be naive. That is a perfect answer. Now, the other side, you put off a common book on or a middle crown. What may you tell you? Let me but get to see, you. today, yeah. no, 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 today, you, don't, you don't reply. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia goes around and says, Listen, supposed, actually, supposed to be a preliminary Listen, issue. This is what we have achieved <laughs> in every sector, okay. something. Okay. But we admit that we have economic challenges. Right. For example, he says, We have challenges in managing our city, but this is my solution. I think that we need to begin to back our currency with gold. And so, this is my approach. In terms of jobs, this is my approach. In terms of health, this is my approach. He has never said anywhere that there are no challenges. In fact, Dr. Baumia is never on record saying anywhere that he's not part of this government. What he has done, rather, is to spend time to outline all the successes of the government and then indicate the government challenges and propose solutions to deal with those challenges. And that is what the Ghanaian people are going to use to take a decision as to whether they trust somebody who flip-flops. Today says that I don't believe in free SHS. If I have two billion, I won't put in it. Tomorrow comes, I'll do it. In fact, today as we speak, let me remind you, the former president himself is campaigning against his own campaign. 
He went to a constituency to tell them that, listen, the economy is so bad, and I don't think I can promise you a stadium. Okay, so now, he goes to the voter region and says, when I come, I'll build you a stadium. So he himself, even in opposition, he's campaigning against his own campaign. Thank so you, when Dennis. I hear them talk about campaigning against your own government, I quite th find it bizarre. Thank, thank you, Dennis. The fact is uh, that... The, no, the, let me wrap no, no. Up. Oh, by the time... No, no, you, you, have, over, you have overdone your time. Anyway, you... So, so immediately... The fact is that... Immediately, I announced <laughs> the two of them. Uh, some people have video. you. Hey. I mean, let me address let me address this i i, I think that on a brief on this because we have the imf as well yes. like i said mm -hmm. the ndc they are not learning and they they think that their electoral fortunes or the success of the 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 elections in 2024 is simply automatically based on the difficulties that the Ghanaian economy will face and so for them they are failing to even do any thinking and, and, and tell the people of Ghana the reason why they should vote for them. So you listen to the comments in the video by the former president, and really, you're asking yourself, okay, after all is said and done, after all the, the comedy, you know, after all the, yeah, the trivialities, what is the promise to the people? And the education, the, that you are saying the station boys haven't been able to do, what is it that you think they haven't been able to do? And what are you telling the people you are going to do it? And what, how are you going to do it? And the health that the station boys haven't been able to handle, according to you, how are you going to handle it? You came and even hospitals that you had inherited from 2008, you couldn't even complete. The health insurance scheme, you collapsed it. <laughs> and the education, within the eight years or so that you spent in government, every year you were leaving 135,000 of the citizens on the streets. Because one, a lot of them couldn't afford. Two, we didn't have enough infrastructure to hold them. So we had artificial cutoff points. How are you assuring the people? And what are you pointing to the people that when you come, you'll be able to, to, to do to deliver? You came and the entire period that you, you spent in your, in your second term as a government, this country was plunged into darkness. Industries shut down. Media houses, including TV3 and so many other industries, had to lay off workers because operational cost was high. How are you assuring the people that when you come, the stable electricity that we are enjoying today, you are not going to, you know, send us back into the dark days? For me, I think that what the former president should understand is that Ghanaians are discerning. Ghanaians are not going to vote for you simply because you, you are telling them that the, the MPP government has not been able to deliver on all their promises. In our West form, we are better than the NDC. You are in better our West, than your, the in NDC our West in, form, in your West form. In our West form, sector by sector, in our West form. Today, as we speak, as today, as we speak, even though for anything at all, we have over 2.5 million Ghanaians who have either completed or are going through secondary education at no cost, but at the cost of the, of the, of the people, of the, of the state. Something but for, 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 for which a lot of, Ghanaian, of these Ghanaians will remain on the streets. Today, as we speak, COVID showed us clearly how weak our health infrastructure has been in spite of all the noise wow. they made, in wow. spite of all the noise they made that they had provided so much infrastructure in health. It came to the fore that indeed we had over 88 districts in this country who did not have the health infrastructure to be able to hold any health emergency. I was an MC every, just every year. They, don't have a, they, they didn't have a district hospital just yet, which is some few minutes away from Accra. And yet there were thousands that they, they had provided so much health infrastructure and, and, and so no matter what happens, you know, they are the best. But it is obvious that they, they, it was just wishy-washy. They were just on paper. Today, the government of the country had to look for money to provide almost about 111 health infrastructure across the country to ensure that the basic health, the basic health infrastructure, which is a district hospital for every district, so that within that jurisdiction, they know that when they have an, a health emergency, they can be catered for. That is being provided by, by this government. Today, today, as we speak, if you go to Tema, you have these industries, in spite of all the global economic challenges, operating. You have people who are going about their, 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 daily, their daily lives without losing their jobs, in spite of the economic, economic challenges. The thing about a government is that there, there is no theory that says there will be an absence of challenges and difficulties. But the true test of a government is how you confront the challenges when they come up. Every country across the globe, every country across the globe is going through economic turmoil, including first, first, first world countries. The Americas, the UKs, the Germanys, mm -hmm. every country is going to. The, Germany is seeing inflation that they've never seen before. UK is seeing a 40-year-old inflation. 
the American currency in the, is under stress. Today, America is seeing a 40-year-old uh, uh, inflation, something they've never experienced. Turkey is, is having inflation in less of about 80%. Our trading countries, our trading partners, where we import from, they rely on Russia and Ukraine for their basic uh, 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 input to be able to produce for us to buy from. Today, they are struggling with supply chain issues, for which reason our purchasing or our trade with them has become so expensive and it's impacting on, on the lives of our people. In spite of all of that, in spite of all of that, one of the things that a Ghanaian person who is on the street or who is in their homes is, is, is very comfortable with and happy with is that there's a government that is working with them to be able to find a solution. Six, seven years ago, when this country encountered a similar challenge under him, former President Mahama, he told us, he gave us so many uh, very, very disrespectful comments. Under, under the, the energy crisis, he told us that we should stop even charging our phones. At some point, he told us that no matter what we say, he's a dead goat and there's nothing we can do to him. At some point, he told us that he told some people, some uh, uh, unemployed graduates, to, 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 to go to hell. And so many other. He told people. the unemployed graduates. Yes, to yes, go yes, to yes, hell. yes, yes. To go to hell. And, and, and well, so no, many. No. Let me, oh, let me. No, he, he, you know, he's, did he say. Oh, I said that if, if somebody that, says you are told. It means that he rubbish he, them. He, he threw he, them off. He, he, did he say. He that threw them off. Yes, yes. Hell. When somebody says he's, you, are, you should did, go to hell, it means did, that you were snubbed. That is what it means. <laughs> ah, but when somebody says you, you should go to hell, what does it mean? It means you, that you, you are saying can I can I you, can you I can I continue? Hell. You are discussing my thoughts. No, I just wanted to let. Uh, yes, he did. You, you he did. Make he did. statements and not expect that. He did. Push. He did. He snubbed them. He told them to go to hell. He snubbed them and ignored them. For which mm. reason they went on to even form an employed graduate association. When we came to power, the first thing that confronted us as a government was a huge number of graduates who have completed school and had no nothing to do. We had to quickly introduce a stopgap arrangement through the NAPCO to put up almost about 100,000 of these people into active, uh, uh, productive activities, you know, on a daily basis, out of which almost about 40,000 had been mainstreamed. So how about you know, the so, 60,000? Where are they? But at least 40,000 that we inherited had been mainstreamed. No, no, no. But the 60,000, which is the larger number, where are they? It doesn't matter. The it, point it, is, it does matter. Where, where so, are the NAPCO so, so, 60,000? So that people? is the point I was making, that you see, government confronts the challenges and you put in place measures to deal with it. You cannot have everything done at the go. So you had a hundred thousand, you've taken off forty thousand. That is progress. So you had a hundred thousand. It is better than having hundred thousand and saying, I ignore you. Go and reach the roadside. Go and cut the grass. So the sixty thousand that's left, have you paid the arrears which in it, the, it's about nine months or so. The last time I checked the NAPCO trainees allowances. The arrears of nine months. Have you paid that? I cannot confirm that but even if they have arrears, the good thing is that they have evidence of indebtedness to them by a government. It is better than they being home in the past when they had no hope or nobody owed them. That is, that is fast. I'm, 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 in I'm, economics... So I'm asking you a specific question. No, but that's that, what I'm saying. I cannot so, confirm what you are saying because, because I don't you have made it. reference yeah, but to I that can't as confirm one of whether, the progress and the interventions you I have cannot made. confirm. I cannot confirm whether some people who are owed some areas have been paid or not. But the point is that... The point I'm making with that reference is that 100,000 of unemployed graduates that we came to meet had been put into a stopgap arrangement, out of which over 40,000 today had been mainstreamed and are productive. These 40,000 had been home for eight years. That is the import of my, my argument. So, so what's the plan for the 60,000? Uh, oh, there are several interventions that are ongoing. Even as at now, as we speak, almost about 6,000 or 7,000 are being recruited into the Ghana Health Service. Last week, close to about two or 3,000 or so are being recruited into the Ghana Education Service. They, it's, it's, it's all over. As what? They, Teachers nurses and nurses, yes, teachers and nurses. Teachers and nurses, yes, as we speak. Ghana Health Service is recruiting. Ghana Education Service has been issuing out. They, they are done with their recruitment process, and they are issuing out um, um, appointment letters. Yesterday, you had recruits coming out of the National Fire Service, uh, uh, passing out from the National Fire Service and all of that. The fact of the matter is, Alfred, it doesn't matter how you attempt to twist or turn So the thing. last time I checked, it was the 2019 graduates, yeah. nurses, yeah. who were being recruited yes. 2019 perfect so we have speak. work upcoming there's 2020 graduates mm -hmm. 2021 many people want to support us na bi na bi na e wo kada ma me se de e na won check down wo bo hu thanks bi wo obobo me hu all certain amount be a pedidia e bo hu euros e bo hu pounds me be fe bia no so slow or as high bia ni wi a 
ba mazin na cons ba en sen ho no ba en sen se mi a twene kakra e twene kakra ma so process ni nyina na so bi a e bo wonder o bring up a drop down menu be able to me choose the payment what the pay they choose ne bi a ni nyina na wise ka thank you for supporting us ya min share be bring